Hello everyone, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to light an ArcVid scene using Unreal Engine 5 and Lumen. Meanwhile, enjoy the cinematic preview and I will talk to you later. Okay, let's start to see how we could import our 3D models using the Datasmith plugin inside Unreal Engine 5. In this case, I'm using 3D Studio Max to do this, but you could use any other software like Blender or Maya. The structure and some small props are from Evermotion. Most of the furniture assets are modeled by me. Other props are even from Quixel Megascans. So now we just select the model we want to export, File, Export, Export Selected. And then we're going to choose uh, Save as uh, Unreal Datasmith. Give it a name. And after this, we're going to see how we're going to import this Datasmith file inside Unreal Engine 5. Okay, here we are inside Unreal Engine 5. This is the final scene that we're going to create the lighting. So I'm using Unreal Engine 5 Preview 2. And Datasmith is already by default installed. So we go to Datasmith, File Import. In this case, I want only the geometry because I already have the materials. Okay, so here we are. We have our armchair and we have a group. It's amazing how everything is all in real time. So most of the models that I created with 3ds Max like sofa, armchair, carpet, accent cabinet, dining table, picture frames and so on, all these models you can find them in your learn tab of the Epic Games Launcher, ArcVid's Interior, that I collaborated with Epic Games for this scene in 2019. Okay, let's go and see some settings. So in project settings, rendering, for GI I'm using Lumen, reflection Lumen. I'm not using hardware ray tracing, 
Shadow Maps, Virtual Shadow Maps. Another thing to do is to go in Plugins and just search for Sun. Be sure to enable Sun Position Calculator. Let's start to insert sun and sky. So I want the primary light source of the sun through this window. Now let's give some values to the latitude, longitude, time zone and north offset. Okay, in post process, exposure one, minimum EV 100 and max EV 100. For now, we're going to put at six. So for the directional light, the intensity, instead of 75,000 lux, I'm going to put 4,500 lux. Now in post process, we'll just turn down the minimum EV100 and max EV100 to 5. Just look at the, the brightest spot to see that it's not over, overexposed. Okay, seems like a good start. Let's go back to sun and sky. For sky atmosphere, we're gonna leave everything at default. So the sky, real time capture, be sure it's, it's on. Intensity, I'll put three for now. So if we go and look at the shadows of the sun, and we'll hire the source angle, we'll notice that the shadows will become softer. This is using software ray tracing. Now for the light color, I just want to use a warm tone just because it's sun. Let's take a look at the indirect lighting intensity. So this value, the more higher it is and the more GI bounces you will have in your scene. Let's put a value around four. As we see, the scene is more brighter. So now I just want to enhance the highlights of the models. 
So to do this, I'm going to create a rectangular light. Okay, let's speed up the process. So essentially, after I created the rectangular light, what I'm doing here, I'm trying to make it fit perfectly in the inside of the window instead of the outside. Okay, let's see the difference with the light on and off. As you see, we have nice highlights. Let's see on the other side. Okay, it's looking good. Another great feature that I like is to go to the directional light and turn on light shaft bloom. And for the bloom tint, I just want to try to match the color of the sun. So I like to see the scene with detailed lighting to see how shadows react. Let's go and take a look at some post-process volume settings. So there's a new feature in Unreal Engine 5 Preview 2 that it's called Local Exposure. So contrast scale, if you lower it, you're going to have more bright exposure in the scene. Just try to get a good balance. Then we have detail strength. This is a really cool feature. So what it does, it sharpens the textures. Just be careful to not insert high values. So for the temperature, since it's too warm, I just lower the temperature to make it colder. I like to enhance my scene with contrast even. So I put some contrast. In this scene, the gamma is 1.1. Another great feature is slope. So where we see dark areas with the slope, we can make them a little bit brighter. In the viewport, I like to keep the settings default. 
When I create my cinematics, then I just change the settings. I use Lumen Scene Lighting Quality 10, Lumen Scene Detail 10, Final Gather Quality 32, and for Reflections, 4. And this is it. This is how you could light an interior arc with scene using Lumen and Unreal Engine 5. Thank you for watching this tutorial. And if you have any questions, just let me know in the comments and I will be happy to help you.